So over here, you can see that I got a bunch of items right here. And let's say I want to highlight out the items that are more than the value of thousand right here on the total section. So if you want to do that, then you can use something called conditional formatting. So for that, you need to select out this table itself and then go to style. So once you go around over here, you can see that conditional formatting is an option. And if you were to click on add, then this is what you have. So you can add in a color scale over here as well, or go for single color. So let's just go around on to single color and select out the field total right here. So I'm going to select out a condition. So I'm going to um, uh, highlight out uh, values that are greater than thousand. So I'm going to select greater than right here and on the input value right here. I'm just going to go around and select thousand right here. So once I do that, what I want is I want the color style to be red, let's say, for example, and the font, I want it to be white right here. So once I do that and hit save, you can see that all of the values that are above uh, 1000 right here, are highlighted as red now and that is what you can do you can also add in multiple rules let's say for example i want to add in another uh let's say for example over here on the single color i'm going to select total so i'm going to say less than right here and then i'm going to say less than the value of uh let's say 800 or maybe 600 I want it to be a certain color. So let, let me just go around over here and then select it as black right here and then bright um, as this color. Let me press save and you can see that this is what you have. So there's two rules applied as you can see right here. You can also add in another rule and change it according to how you want it, just like this. So you can go around right here and then work around with this. So there's two rule applied. Let me just click on edit and you can also delete out the rules as you can see right here. You can add in another rule and then you can have, let's say, for example, I want to have less than, let's say, for example, uh, 2000 now. So I want to highlight this and you can see that there's or as well or and. So I'm just going to get, so I'll say and. So and I want uh, the total to be greater than. So this is going to be greater than. Uh, let's say 600, I want to highlight only those right here now. So let me just go around and choose around the color. Let me choose around black right here, press save, and you can see that this is what you have. And then that is how you can apply the rule over here as well. Let me just go around over here, delete this and click on add another rule. And I'm, I'm, uh, I can also go around on to color scale as you can see right here. So let's go to total it's, uh, itself right here. So 0% and 50% and 100%, this is the colors. So let me just select blue for around the zero percent range right here and then uh, on the way to the middle i want it to be orange and on the high range i want it to be red right here so once i press save now what you will be able to see is they get highlighted accordingly as you can see and the colors are generated according to the value that you see right here and that is how you can work around with the conditional formatting inside of google data studio so hope you guys learn something as always and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.